So hey guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel so guys in this video today i will be showing you how you guys can easily install a complete linux on your android device on sd card okay so first of all let me just show you my problem that you, you can easily see like i have only 16 gb with my android device and 11.82 gb is already filled without installation of linux okay but i have a sd card which is of also 16 gb okay uh, i have already done some procedures because to i don't want to waste a time on this video basically okay um, i mean i don't want to waste your time by just doing all these steps from the starting so i just already did some of the steps but yeah i have a sd card of 16 gb which is externally uh, i have in entered in my uh, android tablet so i will be installing a complete linux on it okay so first of all you have to go on your play store okay and after going on your play store you have to search for one application which is app to sd card okay don't worry guys this is very easy uh, but but uh, i mean you just you have to make sure that you have a root ss okay without root this will be not possible so as you can see you have to just go on a play store and install one application named app to sd card pro okay uh, you have to install it and after installing you have to just open it okay so let me just open this application uh, yeah here you go so here you can see this is the application which i'm talking about so uh, first of all it will also ask for a root permission so let me let us just grant it okay and uh, it will take some time to launch for the very first time so you have to just wait okay uh, let's just wait here right so guys uh, definitely you need a root ss to do all of these and to run linux on your sd card okay without root it uh, might be a very you can say it might be impossible right so here you can see it is asking for me restore my old data so i will just yeah i will just press yes okay restore it okay because i was also using this application before only so it just crashed i think so let me just reopen it and after you can see it will again uh, check for root permission and yeah you have to just select your language let me just select english okay after going in this application you have to go on this uh, op option here you can see like if you go a little bit down so you will see a one option named partition tool right here you can see this is a two options available one is partition tool and one is partition tool adoptable so we have to just simply go on partition tool and after going on partition tool you have to just wait for again again have to wait for a while and here you can see it is giving us some guide so just uh, ignore this okay and first of all what do you have to do is like as you can see i have a 14.8 gb of sd card right i mean it's 16 gb i don't know why it is showing 14.8 yeah you know like just leave it okay so yeah uh, you can see this is my this is my sd card now what you have to do is you have to just do a partition okay so first of all i have i have taken 583 mb of my sd card to remain as a sd card only okay my android will uh, be able to detect this sd card very easily in my files manager okay as you guys have already seen in my settings uh, let me just show it again to you guys okay so here you can see it's showing the sd card of 563 mb here let me just go here you can see 593 mb sd card right sorry 612 mb sd card here so this is the sd card which is the first partition i have done and uh, again i have to open this application and it will again ask for a permission okay so here you go so you can see you can see basically you can just set this to anything like i just uh, set it to 612 and then you can see a second partition okay my second partition is of 14.5 uh, 14 uh, 1581 mb right so you have to make sure what the uh, size of this partition you are giving okay because this is the only second partition is the only partition in which your all linux will be getting installed okay so here you can see i'm giving a 14 gb to my second partition uh, to get linux installed okay and make sure to set its file system to ext4 okay and uh, whatever usd card is using you can just use simple fat32 for it okay so here let me just go and fat select fat32 after doing this you have to just simply click on yes and after doing yes it will ask for a confirmation and you can just simply click yes okay so what it will be doing doing it will be uh, it will be creating two partitions in your sd card one will be of 612 mb and the second partition will be of 14.24 gb okay and 16 point uh, 16 uh, 612 mb uh first partition will be detected by the android and you can store some files on it okay and second second partition 14.24 gb the your linux is going to be installed okay so i've already created it so i'm not going to click uh, create again you have to just simply click on yes okay and you guys will be thinking that why i'm creating even a first partition right so there is a reason because uh, as you can see i'm using a custom room here and sometimes it happens that i'm just messing with my system and my custom room can be gone wrong right like something if happens to my custom room so i have just kept the backup of that on my sd card on this sd card here you can see uh, i have kept havoc os again my i'm basically this is a custom room of for my tablet which is of 591 mb okay so i have kept this uh, in my sd card in case something goes wrong with my tablet so i can just easily flash this havoc os again on my android tablet with the twrp so that is the main reason which i'm uh, why i'm keeping 600 uh, 600 mb on my first partition and if you want then you can just only keep a uh, 1 mb because yeah there is no option to create a because basically you will have to create two partitions okay it completely depends on you how much 
size you want to get so i'm giving 612 mb to my first partition because of uh, that reason i have already told you okay so it totally depends on you if you want then you can just give one mb here and then 592 mb for your linux and ext4 okay so yeah it totally depends on you after that it will uh, it will just reboot your device and after that your sd card will be having a two partitions now what you have to do is you have to again open this application and just go to on this link to app sd card okay when you will go now you will be seeing this pop-up okay just copy this thing okay here you can see they block and this thing now you have to just copy this thing okay and after copying it you have to just simply cancel it okay uh let me just go back and now you can just delete this application because now there is no use of that now what you have to do is you have to again go on play store and install one more application which is named as linux deploy okay so let me just go on play store and search for linux deploy again here we go uh linux deploy so we have to search for linux deploy again and we have to install this application okay so this is the application which will be going to install linux on our on our android device so here you can see like linux deploy 17 mb i have already installed it again uh don't want to waste your time on this video so now we have to just go and open this application okay so here you can see uh this is the linux deploy uh, and the first inter interface will be something like this let me just clear it here so yeah first your first interface should be like this it will also ask for a root permission so, so you have to grant it okay after granting like you may might, might be thinking that you can use this application without root so it's not possible right this application also requires a root permission to install a linux so there is no way that if you just do a partition from your pc and just come back and install linux okay so yeah that's not a good option which you can go on okay uh anyways now we have to go on this properties option as you can see uh, in the top right corner you have to just click on this properties option and you set you have to set your desired linux okay as you can see in i have selected my debian uh, debian linux and of course you have to select your architect as an arm 64 it depends on your device like some devices are of uh, basically AR armhf and some devices are of basically but mostly are of ARM64 okay and you have to search for a little bit uh, search for a device don't select AMD464 because it will not going to work it is only for the PCs okay so yeah I, actually I have tried it a lot so that's why I just wanted to tell you anyways after going on uh, you have to see an uh, here installation path okay what you have to do is like first of all it will be not showing you so you, here you can see installation type okay you have to select this and you have to select a partition here okay by default it is selected on a file you have to just change it to partition and after changing it to partition you will see this installation path and in, in the installation path i told you to copy that uh, uh, path on app to sd card application right you have to paste that path here so you can see this dev block and all that path is here right which i have copied from that place so you have to copy that place and paste it here okay and remember this because this is the only place from uh, basically where your linux is going to be installed on your sd card second partition right this is a path of your sd card second partition now after that you have to just uh, do any everything like you can just set username make sure to set username to root okay uh, i'm not going to do that because i have already done that step so make sure you type your username as a root and your password like anything i have just type, say, type one two three four five and yeah make sure that you remember this password because this is the only password which you will be using uh, to log in in your system to log in in your linux and all that okay to get root assist basically so now after all you have to just enable this it's totally depends on you you can also enable these mounts to mount some additional uh, storage like you can see i have mounted these things uh, on my uh, linux partition so that i can access these folders like storage in the zero and actually got all that uh, basically this is for uh, making the communication possible between android and linux okay so after all you have to just make sure in the last you en enable the gui if you want if you don't want then you can just also enable enable ssh 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 and then use it it uh, then use your linux on a terminal okay it totally depends on you but i am a person who likes a gui so i will be just enabling a gui here graphics subsystem you will select vnc and then gui settings you don't have to uh, basically touch uh, do anything there now in desktop environment it totally depends on you which you want to like okay lxd xfc or mate totally depends on you which you like i like xfc so i'm just selecting my xfc here and then you have to just go back you are all done now just click on install like just click on this three button uh, and click on install okay after click on install just and and now just press okay after some procedure the linux will be installed okay after after doing all that you have to click on configure again when your installation process will be done you have to click on configure and now after in configure you have to also press okay i'm not going to do that because i have already done that okay and after doing that all step right you have to so guys after clicking on start you have to press ok and this will start your linux gui and basically start all the linux on your android device should be working right if you are seeing this fail option uh, then definitely something is wrong so you must have to check right uh, otherwise it should be working it might be showing me a fail because of some uh, thing basically i'm just doing repeating this all the actions again and again that's why it's showing me a fail so just ignore it okay after all you have to go on your uh, app store again and install any type of bvnc player or vnc it totally depends on you i have installed bvnc free so here you can see uh, let me just remove it from my ram uh -huh. just wait a second yeah here we go 
just let me clear it now open it so here you can go after doing that you have to just go on your any bvnc application or vnc application it totally depends on you now you have to just create a sim new basically new option and in the server you have to just type uh, basically localhost here you can see just type localhost and in the port don't don't change anything just let it be 5900 and in the name you can just give anything uh, basically let me just give a some sense name i give it debian because it's debian linux and after in password i told you to type any um, any password on the linux deploy application which is mine in my case which is one two three four and five okay so yeah that password should be you have to use it here okay after doing that just click on save okay so let me just save it and here you can see this is my new which is named as a debian localhost 5900 i have to select it and yeah boom here you go your xfc linux will be there actually i have added my uh, i have already customized my this linux xfc linux lot of much that's why you are feeling a little bit different thing but by default xfc doesn't look like this okay uh, there is no theme and there is no something like that okay so you have to customize it uh, in any ways but still you have a complete linux on your sd card so let me just open a file manager and show you here you can see free space 10.3 gb wow i mean on my android device i was having only and only 4 gb left okay uh, out of 16 gb but now i have 10.3 gb left because this whole linux is installed on my sd card and i can do whatever you want whatever i want as you can see i have already installed so many applications here on development i have installed visual studio studio uh, basically visual studio code okay on education yeah tax max and libra office and all that on graphics you can see on internet you can see i'm having a chromium web and all that okay so yeah you can just now install anything you can even run android studio on your linux without any problem okay so yeah like it's fully functional and it's working just like a uh, i mean i don't have any words to express right so this is the best thing i th i can say that it's a uh, going to be happen you can just install a linux complete linux on your android sd card and yeah refresh rate is also good like you can't say that refresh rate is bad uh, i have snapdragon 425 in my tablet if you have any better profess if you have any better processor in your phone then definitely this linux will just run very smoothly on your device okay because you can see i am able to run android studio pycharm and all that heavy heavy softwares yeah on my android device very easily right so yeah internet is also working let me just search for a high uh yeah here we go I have searched for high. Uh, let me just click it here. Yeah, here we go. High searched, and now here you can see internet is also working, right? So yeah, YouTube's also work, but but only problem is like audio server doesn't work on all devices, right? Uh, on some devices it works, but on some devices it doesn't. Like on my in my case, on my tablet audio doesn't work. Okay, you can just search for how to make audio possible uh, on uh, basically how to make audio on linux deploy on google and you will see so many uh, results there and you can just try some basically if you want i have tried almost every result on a google which is available and nothing works for me right you can also find youtube videos and all that you can also find github and all that android forms you can just try this maybe it works on for you but for me it doesn't work so yeah it's this is the only uh, disadvantage of this linux deploy application that you will not get the audio working on linux right so yeah after all everything is working internet is also working refresh you will also get a good refresh rate and yeah definitely there is no problem of storage because you are getting whole linux installed on your sd card and it's working very fine right so yeah and guys definitely just make a sense because sd cards are usually very slow and this linux is installed on a sd card and still running very smooth so yeah it's a very good thing right if you and yeah if you remove your sd card then this linux will be also removed from your device this linux will be not running anymore so make sure to keep your sd card on your android device here only don't remove it otherwise you will lose your linux okay and in settings uh, i just want to show, tell you that never ever press this icon right here you can see this is the this is the stealth mode never ever enable this option otherwise your linux application will be hidden from your uh, uh, launcher and you will be not able to launch your applications and in my case i have also did one this thing and i on whole google and everywhere i never don't found any option how to make this linux appli deploy application back in launcher and i have to uninstall this application due to which my all linux was uninstalled and yeah so i will just warn you don't enable this steel mode don't enable this stealth uh, don't enable this stealth mode right whatever it is i'm sorry for mispronouncing its name yeah you and you can also enable this automatically start so it will automatically start whenever you boot your android device okay so yeah guys that's it in this video i hope you really liked it and uh, yeah that was all in this video i hope if you really liked it if you really liked it then just give a thumbs up and we will meet in the next video right so yeah okay then bye bye okay and yeah linux is completely installed on your android sd card so yeah enjoy <laughs> bye bye Stay home and stay safe.